down that side. <laughs> Please rise for the processional march and remain standing for our land acknowledgement and national anthem.
We would like to respectfully acknowledge that the land in which we gather is the treaty and traditional territory of the Mississauga First Nations. We are grateful for our relationship with the First Nation of this territory, for their care for, the teachings about, the land, the water, and all our relations. As people of the Williams Treaty, we continue our journey to strengthen our understanding of our treaty relationship and how to move forward together in a good way. We acknowledge the contributions and accomplishments of all Indigenous people across Turtle Island, current and throughout history. Please stand for the National Anthem. Garrison, honored guests, fellow faculty members, proud parents, and last but certainly not least, celebrated graduates. Welcome to Clarington Central Secondary School's 2022 commencement ceremony. My name is Chris Warren, and it's my honor to act as Master of Ceremonies for today's event. Graduates, look at all of you. Here, together, with a room full of people. We're here for a commencement ceremony, which is an opportunity for us to celebrate your accomplishments here at CCSS and wish you the best as you begin your journey into post-secondary lives. You may look back and ask, what have I learned in the past four years? You may have learned how to transform a parabola, write an English essay, or the vast importance of earthworms to an ecosystem or how to roll over in the morning and make it appear you are paying attention to that 8 a.m. class on Zoom while still catching 45 minutes of sleep. We hope that you have acquired the skills that will allow you to be resilient and successful, like how to survive and thrive in a time when you had to go to virtual learning and the next year start in school, one class, all day, all week. Then go to virtual classes, then to return to school classes again, then have your March break postponed till April, then end the year back in virtual learning, and finally to return to in-person learning to finish your high school career. You have faced many challenges so far, and you will have more coming along the way in the future. Take on those challenges, struggle with them, and persevere, and realize that there is even greater rewards when you succeed despite them. So graduates, we remember your time here, and watch you begin your journey forward with the courage to be wrong, learn from those mistakes, and use the skills you have developed to move forward to even greater success. So let's begin the celebration of your time here at CCSS and your journey forward to even greater success with a message from the Kawartha Pine Ridge District School Board. Please welcome KPR Board Trustee, Kathy Abraham. Well, thank you very much, and it really is a pleasure to be here today to bring greetings to you from the Kawartha Pine Ridge District School Board trustees, in particular my colleague in Clarington, Gail Nyberg. This marks graduation number five for us this week. I know, I see you're going five, but I want you to know and understand and believe that for us, every graduation we attend is a privilege. For all trustees across our board, there have been graduation and commencement ceremonies for the entire week, <laughs> and it is the highlight of our year. Being able to attend commencement is a tangible example of what we are about, student success and achievement. And so this week, as I said, across our entire board, there have been graduations taking place, and we are all celebrating with you and honoring you. And this graduation, graduating class has had quite the secondary school journey and you have shown resilience. And do you ever have a story to tell for years to come? You think you have it tough? 
When I was in high school, we had a pandemic. And that's going to replace the one I always heard. I had to walk uphill both ways to get to school and home again in the snow in my bare feet. And you have the advantage of it being true. I know that listening to my comments is not the high point of this evening for you, but there are a few things I need to share. First, I would very much like to extend my gratitude and that of our board to the administration, teaching, and support staff of Clarington Central Secondary School. We are very lucky at KPR to have such talented and dedicated people who come to work every day with the sole purpose of helping young people find success. And make no mistake, every single person who works in this school adds to the success of every student in this school and we appreciate all that you do. To the families, friends, and supporters of these graduates, I thank you. From the very first day of kindergarten, when you perhaps walked a very reluctant four-year-old to school or to a bus, holding their hand and telling them it was all going to be okay. To all the last minute trips to the dollar store for that project that's due tomorrow that they forgot about. Right up to today, your support of these students has been so very important to this success. Thank you for allowing us to be your partners in this. We appreciate your support for these students and I know sooner or later these graduates will understand this and thank you for the important role you have played. And finally to the grads, one of the great things about being the first person to bring, bring greetings is that I get to use all the good quotes. I never use Dr. Seuss, don't worry. We all know Dr. Seuss talks about the places you will go. But I do like to use inspirational quotes, and I found this one recently, and I think it's really good advice. It comes from Sheryl Sandberg of Facebook fame. Remember this, you are awesome. I'm not suggesting you be boastful. No one likes that in men or women. But I am suggesting that believing in yourself is the first necessary step to coming even closer to achieving your potential. Graduates, you have been provided with the tools necessary to be successful, no matter what your next step is, if you're going to the world of work, apprenticeship, post-secondary education of some type. You are just beginning to realize your potential, and we all know that the future is yours to discover. Believe in yourself. Congratulations. You are the Clarington Central Secondary School graduating class of 2022. Thank you, Trustee Abraham. From Senior Administration of the Board of Education, we will hear from Superintendent of Education, Jamila Malia. Thank you. Welcome, honored guests, graduates, family, and friends. I am privileged to bring greetings on behalf of the Kawartha Pine Ridge District School Board senior team to Clarington Central Secondary School's commencement celebration. I acknowledge that although we are moving forward and can now see the light at the end of a very long couple of years, this still marks a different kind of school year for you. And I admire your strength, courage, and determination. I'm very proud to be the superintendent of Clarington, Second, Clarington Central Secondary School. From the, all that I've observed during these challenging times, it is apparent that this is an exemplary school community. The students and staff show great care, kindness, expertise, and passion. For educators, a commencement ceremony provides a sense of satisfaction and pride as we discover the direction our graduates have taken. This graduating class has upheld Clarington Central's mission of academic excellence and has helped create a positive school culture even through all of the challenges that you faced. Graduating class of 2022, receiving your diploma today will bring closure to your days as a high school student. You will remember good times, your friends, and your teachers. You should also remember everything you did for yourself to get to this point. You have demonstrated hard work, perseverance, and dedication, and you truly deserve to be proud of yourselves. Cherish this accomplishment and your memories of Clarington Central as you move forward along life's path. 
I believe it is important to acknowledge the teachers and support staff as well as the administration for their commitment to student achievement. These teachers, mentors, counselors, and coaches have made an enormous impact on your lives. I would also like to recognize your family and your friends for providing support over the years. Today would not be possible without their encouragement, nurturing, and guidance. Finally, I hope that your time spent at Clarington Central Secondary School has prepared you well for the next step you have chosen. I wish you all every success on life's journey, and I am extremely confident in saying that I know you will continue to make us proud. As author and psychologist Robin Hanley Defoe states, the sun will never reveal as much about yourself as the storm does. You have all weathered many storms to be here. Sit in the sun today because you've earned it. Thank you so much for the opportunity to speak to you in this incredibly important moment of your life. Thank you, Superintendent Malia. From our municipal government, we'll now hear from Councillor Ron Hooper. On our platform guests, students, parents, and sponsors, thank you for the invitation to be with you today. It's an honor to be part of your celebration. On behalf of Mayor Adrian Foster, and Council, I would like to congratulate Central, sorry, Clarington Central's graduating class of 2022. These past years have been challenging to say the least, but graduation isn't the end of the journey. It's the beginning, beginning of a beautiful one. I wish you all the best on your new beginnings. Now, when I started on my journey on Council back 16 years ago, my mother gave me a plaque and I've had it hanging in my office for the past 16 years and it was some versage by Eleanor Roosevelt. I've chosen someone else today to quote and uh, poet Catherine Pulsifer. Um, so I'm just gonna, if you indulge me for a moment, graduation day is finally here. Your dreams you did pursue. All your hard work has paid off. Everyone is so proud of you. The nights of study, the projects do, the computer glitches and the virtual learning, learning, sorry. You did them all and more too. It is all paid off, your studying is done. We hope you make time, take time to mix and enjoy some fun. Always remember life is a learning journey. Keep filling your mind with all that's worthy. May the happiness you feel today be a feeling you keep as you go on your way. May life, may life be happy and good to you and may you fi find success in all you do. Never doubt your abilities, and graduation is the conclusion of one chapter and the beginning of the other. On, and the beginning of another. Thank you very much, and congratulations. Thank you, Councillor Hooper. I will now call upon Principal Peggy Perkins to address the graduates. Good morning, 2022 grade 12 graduates, parents, guardians, families, and Clarington Central staff. I'm so happy to be here addressing you today. This is the first graduating class to experience an in-person commencement ceremony in three years. It's amazing. Graduates, when I started at Clarington Central this year, you were the group I worried about the most. Your last three years have been filled with challenges. As COVID has altered the educational experience for students around the world. During school closures, more than one billion students were out of school learning virtually. In your grade nine year, you had one full semester and then you didn't return after March break. Since that time, you've had to adjust, learn how to be flexible, and manage change like no other students before. Your high school career has resembled a ping pong game. You've been bounced back and forth between virtual and in-person learning, never knowing when the, ne the next bounce would come. Impacting your connections, relationships with teachers, friends, and school community. There were many times during this school year I didn't think we would be able to share this day together in person, 
to have a graduation, to have a prom. But graduates, here we are together, celebrating your accomplishments. In September, I watched you return to the building, happy to be back in person, but guarded. Unsure of how the year was going to go, there was a distance between you and the school community. But then you reconnected. You began to shine as leaders in the building with younger students. You set a tone, kindness, and compassion with each other. It has been my absolute honor being your principal this year. I said I wasn't going to cry. Whenever you faced hardships, you guys pulled together. You supported each other. You persevered. You demonstrated resiliency. You reached out for help and support, and you did not give up. As a school community, we've been working hard to create a new normal, one that is kinder, more thoughtful, an understanding of the individual challenges each of us face. As you move on to a variety of post-secondary destinations, I know you have what it takes to be successful. You've shown us that you can adjust, be flexible, resilient, and we have watched you become leaders in this school community. Take a moment and just look around the room. All around. As you continue life's journeys, you will face obstacles. Remember and draw from the strength of this group. Everyone in this room is cheering for you and support you. I would like to take a moment and acknowledge the caring, patience, love, and encouragement of your parents, guardians, families, and friends who've supported you throughout high school. Let's give you a round of applause. Thank you. And I'd also like to take a moment to thank and acknowledge all of the amazing Clarington Central Secondary staff who, for their dedication and commitment in supporting our graduates. Thank you. We are so proud of you and all you have done, the resiliency you've demonstrated and the dreams and goals you have for the future. I wish you all the best in whatever path you choose. And my advice to you is to continue to be kind to each other. Don't be afraid of making mistakes and trying new things. And reach out and ask for help when you need it. You have a support system that is there for you and is so proud of the amazing, exceptional people that you are. Continue to be proud. Take pride in your accomplishments. Continue to set goals, take chances. Never give up. Push yourself to achieve and continue to be the amazing leaders I have had the honor of walking these halls with. Thank you. Thank you, Principal Perkins. We will now proceed with our presentation of special awards. A reminder to parents, guardians, staff, students, and guests to support the comfort of everyone this evening, you may or may not choose to shake hands when crossing the stage. If you shake hands, please take advantage of the hand sanitizer that's available as you approach and exit the stage. Masks are also available for presenters and students if you desire to wear one. So our first award is the Commitment to the Arts Award which recognizes students who, throughout their secondary careers, made contributions to the various art forms. Ms. Melissa Witherspoon presents to this year's recipients, Josh Cox and Sharla Punnett.
The Arts Production Award goes to the graduating student who has shown dedication and commitment to a variety of arts productions in a performance or production role. Melissa, Melissa Witherspoon presents to this year's winner, Alex Waller. The Commitment to Business Award to a deserving student who has shown an interest and aptitude in business studies during their time at Clarington Central and is continuing to pursue business studies. Mr. Ron Hooper presents to this year's winner, Chloe Groth. Commitment to Canada and World Studies Award to a deserving student pursuing post-secondary education related to Canada and World Studies or who excelled in Canada and World Studies courses at CCSS. Ms. Trish Reed presents to this year's winner, Ethan Sherlock. Commitment to social sciences, to a deserving student pursuing social sciences or humanities at a post-secondary level or who has excelled in social science humanities courses at CCSS. Ms. Trish Reed presents to this year's winner, Mokadasa Mutash. Dedicated to English Literary Studies Award to a deserving student who has shown a dedication to English and literature during their time at Clarington Central and is continuing to pursue English or literary studies beyond high school. Ms. Heather Newton presents to this year's winners, Ethan Sherlock and Ella Teresio. Dedication to Mathematics Award, to be awarded to students who have demonstrated a commitment to mathematics during their time at CCSS and are pursuing a degree in a mathematics-related field. Mr. Stephen Found presents to this year's winner, Rebecca Scarth. Dedication to Science Awards to deserving students who have shown a dedication to science during their time at Clarington Central and are continuing to pursue science beyond high school. Mr. Chris Warren presents to this year's winners, Grace Zilstra and William Marr.
Experiential Education Award to a deserving student who has demonstrated a high degree of understanding of job readiness skills and workplace health and safety rules and procedures and has demonstrated exemplary completion of workplace expectations and employability skills through cooperative education. Ms. Karen Boyd presents to this year's winner, Amelia McQuinn. <laughs> the OYAP award goes to a co-op student who has had a placement in an apprentice trade and is planning on pursuing a career in the skilled trades. Mr. Wes Wary presents to the award recipient for this year, Braden Adcock. The Commitment to Technology Award goes to a student who has shown dedication to one or more areas of technological education and participated in extracurricular opportunities in order to improve and to demonstrate their aptitude and love of technology. Ms. Nicole LeGrew presents to this year's recipient, Molly Slemon. Dedication to School Athletics Award recognizes students who have shown a commitment to school athletics during their time at Clarington Central. Mr. Jamie Potter presents to this year's winners, Grace Sargentson and Wade DeBar. The Ontario Power Generation Award supports two graduating students with specific focus on post-secondary study in any of the following fields, engineering, science, environment, technology, mathematics, physics, or business. Trustee Abraham and Principal Perkins present to this year's recipients, Emma Stevenson and Ervin Siraj. The Alexcon Energy Award supports a student pursuing a university education in the field of electrical engineering or other electrical and engineering disciplines and or computers. Trustee Nyberg and Principal Perkins present to this year's recipient, Enoch Jayakoti. Specialist High Skills Majors Awards. 
These are given to students who demonstrated outstanding commitment, enthusiasm, and dedication to their specialist high skills major and will continue to pursue their area of specialty in the future. Awards are given in each of the area of specialties, which include arts and culture, business, and environmental. Ms. Melissa Witherspoon presents the Alts Arts and Culture Award to Alexis Curran. In business, Mr. Ron Hooper presents to Xander McClellan. And in environmental, I get to present to Gavin Littlejohn. The OSSTF District 14 Academic Award goes to graduates who value their public education, demonstrate good citizenship, and are actively involved in the betterment of their community. Ms. Trish Reed presents to this year's winners, Claire Albon and Alyssa Best. Clarence Clinton Guidance Award to recognize a student who maintains a high academic standing while participating in community related activities in the form of a part time job or volunteering. Ms. Kelly Bailey presents to this year's recipient, Amon Kesser. that all students of all abilities, strengths, and needs are included in school activities. Ms. Sarah Haggerty presents to this year's winners, Dixon Ntiamoa and Caitlin Waddell. The Ontario Principals Council plaque recognizes a student with outstanding achievement in academics, citizenship, and leadership. Principal Perkins presents to this year's recipient, William Marr. The Lieutenant Governor's Community Volunteer Award is in recognition of a student who demonstrates exemplary volunteer activities and community contributions above and beyond the required number of volunteer hours. Superintendent Malia and Principal Perkins present to this year's winners, Kayla Chevalier.
Patrick McKay Memorial Award. The Patrick McKay Memorial Award honors the memory of CCSS graduate Patty McKay, who loved the outdoors, sports, especially hockey, and always lived life to the fullest. This award recognizes two students who played rep hockey while at high school and demonstrated high academic achievement, which allowed them to continue their education at a college or university in a science, technology, engineering, or math field. Rob and Karen Lee McKay, present to this year's recipients, Gabby Prosser and Abby Bayford. The Veterans Award is awarded in memory of World War II veteran Mr. Michael O'Reilly Sr., who was an honored member of our school community. The award is given to a student who has shown both academic and personal growth and strength during challenging times. Mr. Michael O'Reilly Jr. presents to this year's winner, Cameron McGill. The Arianne Lynn Matthews Memorial Award. In memory of Arianne Matthews and to recognize that she was a very important member of our school community and the class of 2022. This award is given to a graduating student who has attended Clarington Central for grade nines through 12 and who has earned honor roll by achieving an average of 80% or higher for the courses taken during the 2021-2022 academic year. The student displays kindness and empathy to others at school and is proceeding to post-secondary education in a college, university, or apprenticeship in the field of natural resources, conservation, environmental studies, parks and recreation, or fish and wildlife conservation. Dean and Lynn Matthews present this award in memory of their daughter, Arianne Matthews, to Katie Barton. This concludes the special awards. We will now begin the presentation of Ontario Secondary School Diplomas, Subject Awards, Specialist High Skills Majors, Graduates, Honor Roll, and Ontario Scholars. 
Subject words are awarded to the student with the highest average in each course. Ontario scholars are students who have an average of at least 80% in their six best courses. Honor roll students have obtained at least an 80% average in their final year. The specialist high skills major graduates have completed a group of courses and certifications in a specific area of emphasis. We would ask our graduates to pause for pictures when they receive their scrolls, then hand in your scrolls when you get to the end of the stage to receive their actual diploma. <laughs> Edge Imaging will also be taking pictures, which you can pick up in room 117 after the ceremony. Our reader for this evening is Ms. Heather Newton. Our first presenters of diplomas are Superintendent Malia and Vice Principal Tomlin. Our first graduate this afternoon is Braden Adcock. <laughs> Braden is continuing a Millwright apprenticeship. He's earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. <laughs> Arusa Ali. Arusa is going to Durham College for accounting. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. <laughs> Fala Ali. Fala is going to Ontario Tech for game development. Fala is earning an Ontario Secondary School Diploma and a Business Specialist High Skills Major designation. Claire Albon. Claire is going to Trent for concurrent teaching. She's learning, earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma She's an Ontario Scholar, an Honor Roll student, and the recipient of the Subject Award for Canadian and International Law. <laughs> Rory Allen. Rory is going to Fanshawe College for Music Industry Arts. He's earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. <laughs> Business Schism. Rory is an Ontario Scholar, an Honor Roll student, and he's earning the Subject Award for Dramatic Arts, <laughs> university level. AJ Ariane, AJ is going to Ontario Tech. He'll be studying computer science. He's earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. He's an Ontario Scholar and an Honor Roll student. <laughs> Nicholas Arnold. Nick is going to Fleming College for Heavy Equipment Operator. He's earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Grant Barkey. Grant is going to the University of Guelph for Agricultural Science. He's earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Grant is an Ontario Scholar and an Honor Roll student. Andrew Bartlett. Andrew is returning for a victory lap before going into the trades. He's earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Katie Barton. Katie is going to study Conservation Biology at Fleming. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma an environmental specialist high skills major, 
and she's an Ontario Scholar and Honor Roll student. Abby Bayford. Abby is going to Conestoga College for Occupational Therapist Assistant Program. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. She's an Ontario Scholar and an Honor Roll student. Jordan Bell. Jordan is going Jordan is going to Durham College for the Social Service Worker Program. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma, an Arts and Culture Specialist High Skills major, and she's an Ontario Scholar. <laughs> Abby Bennett. Abby is attending the University of Guelph for criminal justice and public policy. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma and a business specialist high skills major. She's an Ontario Scholar and an Honor Roll student. <laughs> Tashai Berwick-Gardner is studying life sciences at Queen's University. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. She's an Ontario Scholar and an Honor Roll student. <laughs> Alyssa Best. <laughs> Alyssa is going to Trent University for the teacher education stream. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma She's an Ontario Scholar and an Honor Roll student. <laughs> Emily Betts. <laughs> Emily is taking a gap year before going to college. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. <laughs> Jaden Bagwandan. Jaden is going to Durham College for Electrical Techniques, and he's earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Arwen Brant Glover. Arwen is going to Fleming College for the Pharmacy Technician Program. She's an Ontario Secondary School Diploma recipient, as well as an Ontario Scholar and an Honor Roll student. Jacob Buchanan. <laughs> Jacob is going to work full time as he works toward an apprenticeship. He's earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. <laughs> Nathan Buen. Nathan is going to work full time as a guitar teacher before going to post secondary the following year. Nathan is earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. <laughs> Lucia Birch. <laughs> Lucia is going to Durham College for the pre-health program before going on to become a paramedic. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma, an Environmental Specialist High Skills major, She's an Ontario Scholar, an Honor Roll student, and she's earning the Subject Award for Cooperative Education. <laughs> Ashley Burgess. <laughs> Ashley is taking a gap year before going to post-secondary. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Kayla Chevalier. <laughs> Kayla is going to Durham College for occupational therapy. She is earning her... <laughs> How apt. She's earning her Ontario, Ontario Secondary School Diploma.
Damon Clark. Damon is going to Brock University for Business Administration. He's earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. He's an Ontario Scholar, an Honor Roll student, and he's earning the Subject Award for Canadian and International Law. <laughs> Trinity Cueto. Trinity will be attending Memorial University of Newfoundland for science on a soccer scholarship. She is earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. She's an Ontario Scholar and an Honor Roll student. Mia Cormier. Mia is working for a year before going to college in September of 2023. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma with a Specialist High Skills major in Business. <laughs> Jacob Cote. <laughs> Jacob is attending the pre-health course at Durham College for paramedic. He's earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma, a Specialist High Skills major in Business, and he's an Ontario Scholar and an Honor Roll student. <laughs> Joshua Cox. Josh is going to do a victory lap before going to college in the fall of 2023. He's earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma, an Arts and Culture Specialist High Skills major. He's an Ontario Scholar and an Honor Roll student. <laughs> Alexis Curran. Lexi is studying with a pre-professional dance company called Intrepid Dance Company. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma with an Arts and Culture Specialist High Skills major. She's also an Ontario Scholar and Honor Roll student. Hunter Dahl. Hunter will be attending post-secondary school for the trades. He's earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma and he's an Ontario Scholar. <laughs> Alana Dawn. <laughs> Alana will be completing her level two apprenticeship for hairstyling. She's earning an Ontario Secondary School Diploma. She's an Ontario Scholar and an honor roll student. <laughs> Katie Daly. <laughs> Katie will be attending Ontario Tech University for the Bachelor of Science in Nursing program. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. She's an Ontario Scholar and an honor roll student. Maya DeCoker. <laughs> Maya is going to Trent University for Law and Policing. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma and she's an Ontario Scholar. Bella. Wade DeBar. Wade is going to Queen's University for kinesiology. He's earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. He's an Ontario Scholar and an Honor Roll student. <laughs> Libby Drummond. <laughs> Libby will be pursuing the o Ontario Youth Apprenticeship Program for hairstyling. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma, and she's an Ontario Scholar. <laughs> 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 
Nicholas Ducey. Nicholas is taking a gap year before going to college. He's earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. L. Dyer. L is working for a year before going to college for social work. L is earning an Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Isabella Fiorino. Isabella is going to Durham College for the Social Service Worker Program. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. <laughs> Vanessa Gagne. <laughs> Vanessa is going to Durham College for the Pre-Health Science Program. She's earning an Ontario Secondary School Diploma. She's an Ontario Scholar and an honor roll student. <laughs> Brianna Garretts. <laughs> Brianna will be attending Fleming College for practical nursing. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. She is an Ontario Scholar and an honor roll student. Ryan Glassford. <laughs> Ryan is going to Durham College for the Electrical Engineering Technician Program. He's earning an Ontario Secondary School Diploma. He's an Ontario Scholar and he's on honor roll. <laughs> Chloe Groth. Chloe is going to the University of Guelph for a Bachelor of Commerce, majoring, sorry, majoring in management. She's earning an Ontario Secondary School Diploma, she's an Ontario Scholar, and she's an Honor Roll student. <laughs> Hannah Grundy. Hannah is going to Durham College for Public Relations. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. <laughs> Hannah Hassan. <laughs> Hannah is taking a gap year before going to college for accounting. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Our next set of diplomas will be presented by Principal Perkins and Trustee Nyberg. I don't need to. Kirsten Hill. Kirsten is going to Durham College for policing. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. She's an Ontario Scholar, and she's on the honor roll. Ronan Hilliard. Ronan is going to school for the Durham, Ontario Tech Bachelor of Commerce Diploma and Degree Program. He's earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. <laughs> Aaliyah Hoover. Aaliyah is going to Trent University for Honor Science. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. She's an Ontario Scholar and an Honor Roll student. Okay. Tala Iqbal. 
Is that you? Tala is working full time before going to post secondary. <laughs> Tala is earning an Ontario Secondary School diploma. He's an Ontario scholar, an honor roll student, and earning the subject awards for English Mathematics for Work and Everyday Life. <laughs> Alex Dicaron. <laughs> Alex is going to Durham College for Bachelor of Artificial Intelligence. He's earning an Ontario Secondary School Diploma tonight. Enoch Jayakoti. <laughs> Enoch is going to Queen's University for mechanical engineering. He's earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. He's an Ontario Scholar, an Honor Roll student, and the recipient of the Subject Award for University Enriched Chemistry. Takeo John. <laughs> Takeo is planning to go to post-secondary in January of 2023. He's earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma and he's an Ontario Scholar. <laughs> Kayla Johnson. Kayla is going to Waterloo for Life Sciences. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma with a Specialist High Skills major in Environmental. She's an Ontario Scholar and an Honor Roll student. Matthew Jopling. Matthew is planning to pursue a police foundations program in the future. He's earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Christopher Katona. Chris is working full time before starting an apprenticeship. He's earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Kimmy Kennedy. <laughs> Kimmy is taking a gap year. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. <laughs> Megan Cott. Megan is going to Fleming College for Biotechnology. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma with an Arts and Culture Specialist High Skills major. She's an Ontario Scholar and an Honor Roll student. <laughs> Alexis Levine. Alexis will be attending St. Clair College for the Personal Support Worker Program. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. She's an Ontario Scholar and Honor Roll student who is also receiving two subject awards for exploring hairstyling and aesthetics and families in Canada. Jordan Lee. Jordan will be attending St. Lawrence College for Practical Nursing. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. She's an Ontario Scholar and an Honor Roll student. Aidan Leger. Aiden Leger. 
Aiden will be going to Queen's University for psychology. He's earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma, and he's an Ontario Scholar. <laughs> Taylor Lesnick. <laughs> Taylor is going to Trent University for Honours Arts. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. She's an Ontario Scholar and an honor roll student. <laughs> Nolan Lewis. <laughs> Nolan is going to be working next year before going to college to become a pilot. He's earning his Ontario <laughs> Secondary School Diploma. Gavin Littlejohn. <laughs> Gavin is going to Trent University for Molecular Biology and Biochemistry. He's earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma with an Environmental Specialist High Skills major. He's an Ontario Scholar and an Honor Roll student. Duncan McDonald. <laughs> Duncan is going to Canador College for Helicopters Canada Joint Commercial Helicopter Pilot Program. He's earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. He's an Ontario Scholar, an Honor Roll student, and he's earning subject awards in College and Apprenticeship Mathematics and Physics. Kieran McDonald. <laughs> Kieran is going to Durham College for General Arts and Science. He's earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma with an Arts and Culture Specialist High Skills major. Kieran is an Honor Roll student and he's winning subject awards in English and Personal Life Management. Abby Malcolm. <laughs> Abby is working for a year before going to college. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. <laughs> Jordan Mann. <laughs> Jordan is taking a gap year earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. <laughs> William Marr. <laughs> William will be attending Ontario Tech for Life Sciences. He's earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. He's an Ontario Scholar and an honor roll student, and he's also winning the subject awards for music and personal and fitness activities. <laughs> Nolan Matheson. <laughs> Nolan's future plans appear to be top secret because they're not listed. He's earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Cameron McGill. Cameron is going to Western University for nursing. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. She is... She is, and she's an Ontario Scholar and an Honor Roll student. Cameron McIntyre. Cameron is working. How <laughs> 
Cameron will be performing full time next year before attending Sheridan College for the following year. Cameron is earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma and in case you couldn't guess, an Arts and Culture Specialist High Skills major. Xander McClellan. Xander is going to Dalhousie University for History and Psychology. Xander is earning an Ontario Secondary School Diploma with a Business Specialist High Skills major. Xander is both an Ontario Scholar and an Honor Roll student. <laughs> Amelia McQuinn. Amelia is going to Trent University for Biomedical Science. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma with an Environmental Specialist High Skills major. She's an Ontario Scholar and Honor Roll student who is also receiving the Subject Award for Cooperative Education. <laughs> Aidan Menard. Aiden is headed to college for engineering. He's earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. <laughs> Brianna Mulason. <laughs> Brianna is going to Georgian College for the Pre-Health Science Program. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Our final presenters of diplomas is Trustee Abraham and Vice Principal Garrison. Mokadasa Motaj. Mokadasa is going to the University of Toronto for marketing and management. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. She's an Ontario Scholar, an Honor Roll student, and she's earning subject awards for Canadian and International Law and Physics. <laughs> Dixon Entiamoa. Dixon is going to Ryerson for business commerce. He's earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. He's an Ontario Scholar and an Honor Roll student. <laughs> Noor Othman. Noor is going to Ryerson, Toronto University for psychology. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma and is an Ontario Scholar and an Honor Roll student. Cameron Palumbo. Cameron is working full time for a year and then going to post-secondary. He's earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Sarah Payton. Sarah will be working before attending Durham College for culinary skills. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma and she's an Ontario Scholar. Kennedy Phillips. <laughs> Kennedy will be going to Gr Durham College for dental hygiene. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. <laughs> Madeline Pilkey. <laughs> Madeline Pilkey. 
Madeline is going to Niagara College for horticulture technician. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma and she's on the honor roll. <laughs> Jacob Pritchard. <laughs> Jacob is taking a gap year to work. He's earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma, and he's an honor roll student. <laughs> Gabby Prosser. <laughs> Gabby is going to Queen's University for a Bachelor of Science. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. She's an Ontario Scholar, and she's an honor roll student. Wyatt Pugh. <laughs> Wyatt is going to Conestoga College for welding. He's earn, earned his Ontario Secondary School Diploma and he's an Ontario Scholar. <laughs> Charlotte Punnett. Charla is going to Durham College for dental assistant and continuing on to dental hygiene. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. <laughs> Amon Kesser. Amon is going to Durham College for Electrical Engineering Technician Program. He's earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. He's an Ontario Scholar, and he's the recipient of the Subject Award for Personal Life Management. <laughs> Mohamed Qureshi. Mohammed is taking a gap year. He's earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma and he's an honor roll student. <laughs> Tiger Ramchar, I'm sorry, Tiger Ramcharatar. <laughs> Tiger is going to study sports business and management. He's going on to um, a hockey scholarship at Adrian College in Michigan, and he's earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. <laughs> Rathika Ravindran. Rathika is going to Ryerson for social work. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. She's both an Ontario Scholar and an Honor Roll student. <laughs> Skylar Rayside. Skyler is going to Centennial College for Art and Design. He's earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. He's an Ontario Scholar, an Honor Roll student, and the recipient of the Subject Award for Chemistry. <laughs> Farshad Razban. Farshad will be attending the U of T, University of Toronto, for neuroscience. He's earning his Ontar Ontario Secondary School Diploma. He's an Ontario Scholar, an Honor Roll student, and the recipient of the Subject Award for University Enriched Biology. <laughs> Kara Richard. Kara is going to the University of Guelph for biology. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. She's an Ontario Scholar and an Honor Roll student.
Zach Rivers. Zach is returning for a victory lap, but today he's earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. <laughs> Abby Roberts. <laughs> Abby will be attending Ontario Tech University for a Bachelor of Commerce in Accounting. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. She's an Ontario Scholar and an honor roll student. Grace Sargenson. Grace will be attending Brock University for the Bachelor of Kinesiology program. She's an Ontario Secondary School Diploma recipient, an Ontario scholar, and an honor roll student. Aaron Sargent. Aaron is taking a gap year next year to work. He's earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. He's both an Ontario Scholar and an Honor Roll student. Rebecca Scarth. Okay, hold your applause for this one. She's going to be attending the University of Guelph for Business. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. She's both an Ontario Scholar and an Honor Roll student, and she's earning the subject awards for Calculus and Vectors, Chemistry, Mathematics of Data Management, and English. Ethan Sherlock. Okay, again, wait for it. Ethan will be doing missionary work in Chile next year. He's earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. He's an Ontario Scholar and Honor Roll student, and he's earning the subject awards in Canadian and International Law, English, Healthy Active Living Education, and World History. Molly Slemon. <laughs> Molly will be attending the University of Guelph for Studio Art. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma with a Specialist High Skills major in Arts and Culture. Molly is an Ontario Scholar and Honor Roll student who is also earning the subject awards for Business Leadership, Technological Design, Photography, and Visual Arts. Dominic Smoljanovic. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Dom is going to George Brown College for Culinary Chef Program. He is earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. <laughs> Madison Soden. Madison is taking a gap year. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. She's an Ontario Scholar, and she's on the honor roll. Aravint Sriraj. Aravinth is going to Ontario Tech for nuclear engineering. He's earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma, he's an Ontario Scholar, and he's on the honor roll. <laughs> Emma Stevenson. <laughs> Emma 
Elizabeth is going to the University of Waterloo for nanotechnology engineering. She's earning an Ontario Secondary School Diploma. She's an Ontario Scholar and Honor Roll student who is also the recipient of the subject awards for Enriched University Chemistry, Enriched University English, and Enriched University Physics. <laughs> Leah Souter. Leah is going to the University of Guelph Humber for Communications and Media Studies. She's earned her Ontario Secondary School Diploma and she's on the honor roll. <laughs> Malia Tahir. Malia is going to the University of Toronto for Life Science. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. She's an Ontario Scholar and on the Honour Roll. <laughs> Maham Tariq. <laughs> Maham is going to the University of Guelph for Computer Science. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma and is both an Ontario Scholar and Honor Roll student. <laughs> Carl Teresio. <laughs> Carl is going to Trent University for the business program. He's earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. He's an Ontario Scholar and he's on the Honor Roll. Ella Teresio. <laughs> Ella is going to Trent University for a joint major, major in forensics and science. She's earned her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. She's an Ontario Scholar and an Honor Roll student. <laughs> Tasneem Tofik. Tasneem is going to Trent University for nursing. She's earned her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. <laughs> Wadia Trowers. <laughs> Wadia is going to Fleming College for practical nursing. She's earned her Ontario Secondary School Diploma and she's both an Ontario Scholar and Honor Roll student. Taylor Twig. <laughs> Taylor is going to work before going to George Brown for interior design in January of 2023. She's earned her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. <laughs> Chloe Verhoog. Chloe will be going to Durham College for policing. She's earned her Ontario Secondary School Diploma and is an Ontario Scholar. She's also receiving the Subject Award for Hospitality and Tourism. <laughs> Kylie Voza. Kylie will be continuing in the OEAP program level two for hair styling, doing her apprenticeship. She is earning an Ontario Secondary School Diploma, and she's an Ontario Scholar. <laughs> Caitlin Waddell. Caitlin will be attending Trent University for psychology with a specialization in psychological development. She is earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma with an arts and culture specialist high skills major. 
She's both an Ontario Scholar and Honor Roll student who is the recipient of the Subject Award for Personal and Fitness Activities. <laughs> Tori Wagland. <laughs> Tori is going to the University of Guelph for Molecular Biology and Genetics. She's earned her Ontario Secondary School Diploma and is both an Ontario Scholar and Honor Roll student. <laughs> Naweed Walid. <laughs> Naweed is going to Queen's University for Engineering. He's earning his Ontario Secondary School Diploma and is an Ontario Scholar. Nathan Walker. Nathan will be attending York University for criminology. He's earned his Ontario Secondary School Diploma and is both an Ontario Scholar and Honor Roll student. He's the recipient of the Subject Award for Canadian and International Law and Personal Fitness and Activities. Alex Waller. <laughs> Alex will be attending the Sheridan Performing Arts Preparation Program. She's earning her Ontario Secondary School Diploma and is an Ontario Scholar. She's also receiving the Subject Awards for Musical Theatre Production. Kaylee Webster. <laughs> Kaylee is returning next year for the OEAP hairstyling program. She's earned her Ontario Secondary School Diploma and is both an Ontario Scholar and Honor Roll student. <laughs> Sydney Westlake. Sydney is going to Conestoga College for practical nursing. She's earned her Ontario Secondary School Diploma, and she's an Ontario Scholar. <laughs> Izzy Weller. <laughs> Izzy is going to the University of British Columbia for a Bachelor of Arts with a major in Psychology. She's earned her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. She's an Ontario Scholar and Honor Roll student who is also receiving subject awards in Challenge and Change in Society and Forensic Science. <laughs> Ainsley Weirdsma. Ainsley is taking a gap year next year, but she's earned her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. She's both an Ontario Scholar and Honor Roll student, and she's receiving a Subject Award for Exploring Hairstyling and Aesthetics. <laughs> Justin Wills. Justin will be completing his apprenticeship to become a refrigeration mechanic. He's earned his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Abby Wing. Abby will be attending the University of Guelph for a Bachelor of Science Honours major in Animal Biology. Abby has earned her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. She's an Ontario Scholar, she's an Honour Roll student, and she's the recipient of the Subject Awards for Advanced Functions, English, and Visual Arts.
Grace Zilstra. Grace will be attending Brock University in the fall for Honours Bachelor of Science in Nursing. She's earned her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. She's an Ontario Scholar and an Honour Roll student and the recipient of the Subject Award for Cooperative Education. And I get to present to you the graduating class of 2022. You can flip that tassel to the other side now. We have one final award to give out tonight. Our final award of the evening will be presented by Superintendent Malia and Principal Perkins. The Governor General's Academic Medal was established in 1873 and acknowledges the student with the highest academic average, including both grade 11 and grade 12 marks. This year's recipient, Rebecca Scarf. And I now ask that Mr. Stephen Found come to the stage to introduce to you your 2021-2022 valedictorian. Today I have the privilege of introducing to you your valedictorian. But before I do that, I have to take the opportunity to say to all of you, thank you. Thank you for being awesome for the last four years. And congratulations for everything that you've accomplished so far and for everything that you are yet to accomplish. Truly, congratulations. Yeah, I'm not done. You're <laughs> Valedictorian is a, is a special honor because it's been selected by you to represent you, Clarington Central's graduating class. And the class of 2022 is nothing if not resilient. You're our COVID kids after all. You endured lockdowns and shutdowns and pivots to and from online learning. You heard the phrase unprecedented times, enough times to probably make it precedented. You've seen semesters and quadmesters, and through it all, here you are all here today. Life isn't always easy. It can sometimes beat you up. But all of the struggles, the mountains that you climb, the battles that you win, and oftentimes the battles that you lose, have all contributed to making you the you that you are today. And each of you sit here today, ready to take on the world, as only the you that you have become can. To me, today's valedictorian represents that resiliency. She represents your ability to pivot when life throws curves and the desire to overcome life's obstacles. As a project in data management, we write math into children's stories. Your valedictorian chose the story of the very hungry caterpillar. So it would probably be appropriate to leave um, 
with a metaphor of you all turning into beautiful butterflies. But instead, I'm going to leave you with this direct quote from her project. And in her project, she wrote, the caterpillar dropped all four strawberries. What's the probability that two of them ended up smushed? <laughs> and yeah, she used the word smushed in her grade 12 project. But I think that if you can take anything away from this, it's just to remember that it's the smushed strawberries that are going to make great jam. Please join me in congratulating your valedictorian for the class of 2022, Miss Sydney Westlake. got to make sure everything's in the right order. Just a minute. <laughs> um, this is going really well so far. Here we go. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mr. Warren. Hi, everybody. Before I begin my speech, I'd like to take a minute to thank you all for this opportunity to represent our graduating class and for liking me enough to listen to me talk for five minutes. Obviously, I have to say a cheesy thank you, but this genuinely means more than I could explain, and I'm honored to be the person speaking to you today. I know we've all been sitting a while, and by now you're considering what to have for dinner, but I hope I can deliver a worthwhile sentiment today. My name is Sydney Westlake, and I've been here at CCSS for all four years of high school, which does not feel like four years now that I'm standing up here. I know almost everyone I'm graduating with, which I'm very grateful for, because I believe that in one way or another, every interaction has an impact in some way. This interaction is a rather large one, and although I never seem to have trouble interrupting class lessons with my constructive questions, concerns, and comments, sorry, Mr. Logan, I will admit that I'm slightly nervous. We've had a particularly unique high school experience, and I feel so privileged to be the person you've chosen to reflect on it with. Although our individual experiences have all been different, I really do want to make this speech a dedication to the entire class, because even though I'm just one person, this commencement is a celebration of all of our accomplishments collectively. If you told me six months ago that I'd be graduating and standing up here today, oh. <laughs> I almost certainly would not have believed you. In August of last summer, I was in an accident that left me with a PTSD diagnosis. I debated whether or not to mention my accident because I've done my best to not let it consume me, but in the same breath, I want to be the person I need in this part of my life for others. Everyone experiences things differently and heals in their own time and in their own ways, which is why I believe it's so important to keep starting the conversation about mental health and having access to helpful resources. While I'm so honored to reflect and share with you today, I also understand that this is a very small drop of water in a very big bucket. However, if I can convince at least one person today that their pain will not last forever, I think that would be pretty incredible. Even better than being the reason Mr. Warren retires. Thinking back to the beginning of high school, I vividly remember walking into the foyer on orientation day and immediately wanting to turn right back around. The school was big, it has that weird circle thing in the middle, and I was terrified to meet new people. Pretty similar to what most of us are probably feeling about moving to new cities. As you can tell, I did not turn around. I still think the circular sunroof was an interesting design choice, and I met all of you. It feels ridiculous now to have been so anxious, but that's the way life seems to work. You get to where you're going, and the realization that you're at a new beginning really hits you. I hope the realization hasn't hit you too hard, though because I promise you that there is nobody more ready for what's ahead of you than you. I know it's cliche and my purpose up here is to encourage you, but I promise that every one of you has the potential to speak your freaking truths. <laughs> and we all know I don't say that lightheartedly. I'm notorious for doubting myself in every way possible and thinking about any of you feeling that way is so heartbreaking because you are so beyond capable of, of accomplishing whatever life throws your way. 
And even if you need a little extra push, Mr. Found is only an, it's okay, bud, away. <laughs> if I could go back to the beginning and meet myself, there is a list of things I would have to tell her, and I mean a list. However, I don't get to go back to prepare myself, and that's completely okay. Thinking about the next two years ahead of me, I can only imagine the experiences I'll have and the knowledge I'll gain and how different everything will be. And although it's intimidating to not know what's next, I think life would get pretty boring if I was able to control everything. So, since I can't talk to myself two years in the future, I'll share with you what I think would be comforting to hear. Number one, a bad mark on a test or a paper or an assignment does not reflect on your capabilities or skills to thrive in your chosen career. Number two, trust the expiration date on milk cartons. <laughs> Number three, spend your spare time with people you love. Four, don't let work or school get in the way of doing what you love. And five, anything that disturbs your peace is probably not worth it. And most importantly by far, you are a human being and not a human doing. Yes, you have commitments and responsibilities and deadlines to adhere to, but at your very core, you are here for a reason, and that reason is not just to work. If there is anything you take from my speech today, please let it be the reminder to find time just to exist. Reflect, feel gratitude, be thankful, tell everyone you love just how much you love them. Go to the party, let yourself feel, cry when you need to cry, celebrate the smallest of victories, and love yourself like somebody you love. Don't worry, we're almost done here, but I'd like to take a minute to personally thank some special people. Uh-oh, <laughs> might get a little misty. I gotta find Abby, where is she? Abby, I would not be here without you. Megan and Tori, knowing you has been one of my favorite parts of the last 14 years. Mom, thank you for all the sacrifices you made as a single mother. I know it was not easy. Kennedy, thank you for all of your hard work planning prom. It was a beautiful way to end high school. Uh, Miss Sedera, thank you for always having your door open to me no matter what. Mr. Logan, thank you for your patience. And also that water bottle at the beginning of your class. I was so thirsty, I wouldn't have made it. <laughs> um, Mr. Culligan, I don't know if he's here today. Um, Mr. Culligan is one of the most compassionate teachers I've ever had. Thank you for so desperately trying to teach me chemistry. <laughs> Mr. Found, you were really made for what you do. Thank you for always being there and encouraging me every step of the way through stats and tears. Um, Mr. Warren, it has been an absolute pleasure to narrate your class for the last four years. <laughs> I bet you've never seen a worm give a valedictorian speech. In all seriousness, though, thank you for what you've done for me. I cannot thank you enough, and I would not be pursuing nursing without you. Gary, thank you for patrolling our hallways so bravely. You know it's about to get real when you see the leather jacket in the foyer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Miss Boyd, thank you for always supporting me and for all of the opportunities you've given me. And last but certainly not least, thank you to everyone in front of me for helping me grow into a personality I'm proud of and comfortable in. I truly cannot wait to see where your next journey takes you. I know it'll be great. Congratulations. In the wise words of Mac Miller, oh yeah, we just graduated high school. <laughs> Thank you, Sydney. One last thing, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this event does, takes an immense amount of work that needs to be recognized. We thank our generous community partners who have helped in the awarding of nearly $10,000 in student awards. I'd like to thank the commencement committee, headed by Ms. Kelly Bailey and Ms. Faith Sidera. 
Ms. Reppel and the secretarial team, Mr. Huseman and the custodians for set up for tonight, as well as cleaning up after you for four years. <laughs> to Mr. Cools and the Clarington Central Concert Band, and to all the staff that have put in many long hours of preparation, please help me give those people and the ones I failed to mention a round of applause. And finally, graduates, one last time I get to tell you what to do. <laughs> the stage party and special guests will lead the staff and then the graduates out of the gymnasium as the recessional plays. And you can join your family and friends in the cafetorium for some light refreshments. And don't forget to pick up your pictures in room 117. Thank you and good night. <laughs>